the examiner will come back to you again now and refer you back to Mrs. Horn, whom you have said that there is a 75% chance that the cause of her jaundice is biliary obstruction. And will then say to you, tell me a little bit about biliary obstruction in your own words, briefly. All you know about it. You tell the examiner, well, we divide biliary obstruction into two, don't we? Extra and intrahepatic biliary obstruction. Now, the extra hepatic biliary obstruction is different, isn't it? Because it is surgically or endoscopically accessible to treatment. So you can remove cancer surgically or cannulate into the tumors and deal with them in that sort of way. But if the obstruction is further up in the liver itself, in and around those biliary caniculi that I showed you earlier on, then you can't do that. So it's important to remember that some forms of biliary obstruction, intrahepatic biliary obstruction, are not accessible to surgery. And you remember the causes of intrahepatic biliary obstruction, but at least one of the causes, and if you really want to impress the examiner, two of these causes of intrahepatic biliary obstruction. And the first thing which comes to your mind is yes. drugs. There is about 15 or 20 different drugs which are known to be associated with intrahepatic biliary obstruction. Drugs such as Gabapentin for nerve damage, azathioprine, cyclosporins, even antibiotics like amoxicillin and clovicanic acid, even antidepressants like tricyclic antidepressant, where the picture is of biliary obstruction and it may mimic a cancer, a hepatoma, a malignant tumor of the liver cell, and you may wrongly suspect that you're dealing with a terrible killing disease. But all they have done is taken one of these drugs which are known to be associated with intrahepatic biliary obstruction. The second sort of things which are responsible, which can cause intrahepatic biliary obstruction are, we are back to square one again. Viral hepatitis. Viral hepatitis causes hepatocellular jaundice. But in some people, for some reason, instead of doing that, the picture is a biliary obstruction with itching and obstructive jaundice. So viruses of hepatitis can cause intrahepatic biliary obstruction in some people, and that's the snag.